In this video, I'm going to be doing a review of the Troy Industries 16-inch Promo Alpha Upper Receiver Assembly. This was a item that Troy Industries ran a special on um, not too long ago for the uh, NRA show. And if you subscribe to their, their uh, email newsletter, you would have uh, received a notification of certain coupon codes you could apply to this. The normal price on Troy Industries website was $11.99 and after you apply um, after you applied some coupon codes you ended up at a discounted price of $6.99 with about $12 for shipping which I thought was uh, very reasonable for this type of an upper. $1,200, not so reasonable. I would have never bought this for $1,200. Um, mainly because when I look at something like this, I, I break down all the individual components and, and say, well, is it cheaper for me just to buy all the individual parts and build it myself, or is it cheaper to buy a completed unit? So at $699, um, this is definitely uh, a, a very good buy because you couldn't even buy all the parts for $699. So, um, this is the box that it ships in, um, a Troy box, which um, I guess uh, I'm, I'm used to stuff being sent in plain brown packaging. I'm not used to boxes advertising what's in it. But um, unless you're familiar with uh, TroyIND.com, uh, you're not going to really know what this is about. Um, you've got the Troy uh, horse over on the left. so. Um, that's just me though. I don't like stuff showing up that says, Hey, I'm a rifle or I'm a rifle part. So, uh, anyway, it's, this box isn't really big enough for a complete rifle. This obviously was designed specifically to ship up, uppers in. And on the inside, basically this, this is what, uh, arrives in the box. Um, uh, aside from your invoice, um, you get a, uh, a Troy product catalog um, which shows um, different Troy products and their rifles and rails. Uh, very nice catalog. This is kind of stuff you'd pick up at, at one of the trade shows. Um, so I haven't actually really looked through it too much. Um, I'm familiar with most of the Troy products. Uh, so I don't suspect there's going to be anything in there that's news to me, but it's a nice catalog. I love to get stuff like that. Um, there's not really any packing material in the box per se. We've got this top cardboard section here that um, is specifically cut to hold uh, an upper receiver like this. Again, we've got the Troy logo and, and then of course the upper receiver, but uh, no foam packing or anything of that nature. Um, this did arrive, did, it, when it arrived it wasn't sitting like this, it was inside of lifts up. The, actual, the upper receiver was actually inside sitting down here. Uh, it had fallen through. Um, this is not my idea of good packing for shipping something like this. I would definitely like to see uh, foam or, or bubble wrap or something to, to better protect my product. Uh, fortunately, this showed up with no damage, but that's not always the case when you're dealing with, uh, you know, you, the, the shipping companies. Uh, things happen, so um, this type of packaging is a bit disappointing, but it did arrive, uh, no damage. Uh, so I'll uh, go ahead and we'll take this out of the box and we'll, we'll get a closer look up uh, at this receiver. Okay, so what we're looking at here is a 16 inch uh, upper receiver with a carbine length gas system, a low profile gas block, uh, a 13 inch Troy Industries Alpha Rail with the integrated flip up front sight. You'll also see that it comes with a Troy Industries dual aperture flip up rear sight. The barrel is a uh, 
government profile, uh, one and seven twist, um, five five six barrel that is stamped Troy. We'll we'll take a look at that in a little bit. It is a, a, a nitride treated barrel. It has a Troy medieval muzzle brake. A uh, full auto mil spec bolt carrier group with a uh, Carpenter 158 bolt that has uh, been individually magnetic particle inspected. The upper receiver is a uh, T775 T6 uh, that has a uh, uh, um, hard lube uh, coating on the inside so it's a, a mil spec upper receiver. Now the upper receiver is not stamped in any way, well, there's no logo on the upper receiver, but um, you've got manufacturing marks that are on most upper receivers. This manufacturing mark, uh, which I'll show later, it has a uh, keyhole on it, um, and the uh, keyhole mark indicates that this upper receiver was made by a Cerro Forge. Uh, and it is a USA made uh, upper receiver with uh, integrated M4 feed ramps. This particular uh, company is a large uh, uh, DOD supplier. They supply uppers for Stag Arms, Spikes Tactical, Troy, of course, Knights Armament, Smith and Wesson, Daniel Defense, CMMG, and uh, Bravo Company. So, high quality upper receiver. The charging handle carries no type of manufacturing marks on it. Uh, it's a standard charging handle. Um, it looks like pretty much all the, the other OEM charging handles. I didn't see anything out of the ordinary on that. Uh, the bolt carrier group, um, like I mentioned with uh, the specs, it carries no manufacturing marks uh, that I can find. Um, the bolt is stamped M MP and that's about it. The, I don't know who makes the barrel for Troy Industries. Um, it uh, is stamped um, Troy on the barrel, so it's, it's not just a, uh, something that they, they grabbed off the shelf or they, they OEM'd them out. These, are, these obviously are made for Troy and they're nitrided. Um, they are 4150 uh, CMV or chrome molyvandium steel. It's uh, listed as a match grade barrel. Um, and um, the low profile gas block, which we can't see because of the railing system, is also the uh, made by Troy, so it does carry the Troy logo on that. And let's see, this complete upper originally carried a part number of SUPR-BF1-16BT-00. I uh, went back to uh, Troy's site and I, I couldn't find this on their site. So this is, I don't if, know if they've discontinued this or if they're just out of stock on them. I know they sold fast because um, I was going to pick up a couple of these and I went back after purchasing this one and they were out of stock so they they sold out pretty fast. So I don't know if they're going to be available again but uh, at $6.99 um, this, is, this is definitely a good buy. Um, the only thing that was a little bit had me a little bit um, on the edge when it came to purchasing this was, you know, it's not a chrome line barrel, the, the, it's, it's a nitrited barrel, which in the grand scheme of things uh, is is not a big deal. Uh, I'm just used to chrome line barrels and, and how they wear and how to clean them and the reliability on them and so on. So um, the, the, the build and the fit and finish on, on this is excellent. Um, there's no marks from hammers or screwdrivers or hex keys or anything like that. Nothing scratched up. Uh, everything was oiled. The bolt carrier group, the upper receiver, um, the uh, barrel nut, 
has, um, well, I can't say the barrel nut has a mil spec grease on it, but they, they, Troy, or whoever assembled this for Troy, did use some sort of grease on the barrel nut, which is always a good sign. Um, the muzzle brake has a crush washer on it. It's, it's uh, timed correctly from what I can see. The um, uh, gas block, obviously I'm not going to take the gas block off, so I don't, I don't know if the, they dimpled the barrel for the gas block. But what I did notice, and I'll show this um, a little later on in the video, is it looks like the, the gas block uses two, two Allen bolts on the bottom. And it looks like those Allen bolts, after they're torqued down, have been staked, which is another good sign, a good, good attention to detail there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to position this for a couple of other different angle, uh, angles on it, and then I'm going to go ahead and take off the alpha rail, and we'll take a look at what's underneath. All right, this is the uh, upper receiver. You can see we've got uh, laser etched uh, uh, and filled T marks all the way across. And we've got the uh, flip up front sight. And you've heard me uh, discuss this before um, about sights locking in place. This does lock into place and it requires. Well, normally requires two hands to do this. I can do it with one hand. I push in on the button, it's spring-loaded and uh, it locks down flush. Press a button and it pops up. Uh, very nice. And of course the the Troy rear sight, same thing, has a push button release. It's, it's locked in place. We push it, it folds down. Um, of course it doesn't uh, pop up on its own. You gotta pull up on it. You don't have to push in the button to pull up on it. You can just pull up and it locks in place and it isn't going anywhere. And let's see if it wants to uh, cooperate and stay in place. And we'll take a look at the barrel markings. You can see that it says Troy 556 NATO uh, 1-7 and of course the medieval muzzle brake which is a nice addition I actually have not used this muzzle brake before so uh, I can't make any comments on on how well it functions as a brake uh, on most of my rifles I run uh, uh, flash hiders on my rifles um, so this will be a new experience for me Okay, if you're ever wondering who manufactures your upper receivers, you can, if you look right there, there's normally some sort of a identifier on your upper receiver. And if you just do a Google search for upper receiver manufacturer markings, you should be able to come up with Quite a few different forum posts that will tell you uh, what these marks mean and who the manufacturers are. So uh, I don't have all of these uh, memorized uh, off top of my head. I actually had to uh, do a search myself for the uh, keyhole logo and do a little research on that. All right, here's the bolt carrier group and the charging handle that comes in the Troy Industries upper receiver. Again, there's really no identifying marks on either of these two items that would tell me uh, who makes them. Uh, also, I previously mentioned that this was a full auto uh, bolt carrier group, and that was my mistake it is not a full auto bolt carrier group you can see that this is a, a semi auto bolt carrier group by the lack of mass right in this area um, that uh, obviously is, is not any type of a deal breaker at all um, unless of course you're you're putting it in a in a select fire um, 
rifle. Um, I did take the bolt out and take a look at the bolt. Um, the carrier is chrome line. The bolt is a Carpenter 158. It has MP stamped on it. Um, it does appear that the entire upper was test fired. I found some, some uh, residual uh, brass shavings uh, around the firing pin and, and so on. So um, the uh, upper was definitely test fired. The bolt carrier group, you can see that uh, the gas key is uh, nicely staked. I'm assuming you can see that. Uh, lots of oil on it. Uh, nothing else really standing out. Um, it is kind of a bummer. It is a semi-auto, um, but uh, you know, be honest with you, I've I've shot uh, a lot of my rifles with uh, the full auto bolt carrier groups and the semi-autos, and I don't really notice any any type of difference. Uh, if I had my pick, of course, I'll go with the full auto one just because it it has more mass. Um, so. That's the bolt carrier group. Um, the firing pin, um, the ejector, um, the extractor. I, I did not take the extractor off, so I don't know what kind of uh, spring is underneath that. I'm assuming it's probably the standard four coil spring with the uh, O-ring on it. Um, that's not uh, that big of a deal to me, so. Um, at uh, some point in time, I'll, I'll take that apart, but uh, I'm not going to do that today. Uh, charging handle. Nothing to write home about here. Standard charging handle. I don't normally use these. I, I pretty much run exclusively uh, Bravo Company gunfighter charging handles. Uh, I'm starting to really like the large latch ones, the uh, Mod 3s with the large latch on them. I've got some Mod 4s, which are the medium latch. I like those as well. After using those for so long, going back and going back to use one of these, these are just, uh, I don't like these anymore. So, um, just really digging the Bravo Company charging handles nowadays. Okay, with the Troy 13-inch Alpha handguard removed, uh, you get a idea of the barrel profile. Uh, like I mentioned, it's a government profile barrel, so it's going to taper in this area. If it were a heavy barrel, it would be the same um, same thickness all the way across. And you'll notice that this uses a standard uh, AR style barrel nut. That's one of the nice things about the uh, Troy Alpha rails is if you're going to install one of these on your rifle, you don't have to use some sort of a pri proprietary barrel nut. You can keep your existing barrel nut and um, this slides uh, right over it. So definitely a nice design there. Um, you can see this is a carbine length gas system. The gas tube is a chrome gas tube. The low profile gas block is made by Troy. And you can see here that um, they went to, uh, to the extra length of staking the hex screws on the low profile gas block. So that's a, a nice attention to detail. the stampings on the barrel again in case that wasn't too visible in the uh, early part of the video the um, barrel had oil on it um, and there was a, a residual amount of uh, grease around the barrel nut um, whoever installed it used uh, a gratuitous amount of grease which I can appreciate the bolts on the Troy Alpha Rail. There's actually there's three tabs and three bolts 
and whoever installed this uh, also put some sort of thread locker on the bolts. Uh, it wasn't blue, it was uh, some other color, maybe yellow, but they did have thread locker on it and they were torqued down um, pretty good. So all in all, um, very well constructed um, upper receiver. I like all the parts that are on here. Um, everything is, uh, was very well put together. Um, all I see is high quality components. And, uh, you know, I, I went through and, and did um, a cost analysis if I were to buy all these individual parts, making some uh, assumptions. And it came out, you know, anywhere between 900 and 950. Of course, depending upon, I can't find actual Troy barrels for sale, so it's hard to price a barrel. Um, and this bolt carrier group, um, I used a conservative price on that because it was uh, a semi-auto bolt carrier group. So I came out somewhere in the range of 900, 950. So um, that's if I could buy all these actual parts and then assemble it myself. So 699 was definitely a good buy. Anyway, that's uh, that's gonna wrap it up for uh, the review on this Troy industry's upper receiver um, if you can buy one um, well if you could I, I would say if you could buy one at 699 jump on it but I, I don't think you can get those anymore at that price so um, that's going to wrap up the this review of the Troy Industries 16 inch alpha upper promo 